<laughs> Stay hydrated. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video, I know. Um, I could say it's because I've been traveling or it's because my camera did break again and I had to fix it and I mean it's a mixture of all of that but quite frankly I just haven't been feeling like putting the camera down and talking to the camera. I just haven't been in the mood to record a video. But it is the last day of 2018 and something just said, let me get on here, talk to y'all. I want to close out this year um, with a video just to kind of sit back, reflect, and give my thoughts on 2018. First things first, I'm in front of a window so the sunlight might go in and out. Just a heads up. That's something that bugs me sometimes, so I don't know if that bugs you. Since I haven't really been on here since my video putting up my tree and like just kind of being in my feelings a little bit, <laughs> I just want to take this time to say that I hope everybody had a happy holiday. I hope that um, if your plan was to stick to your goals that you were able to do so, or if your plan was to let loose and just enjoy yourself, hope you were able to do that with no regrets. Um, and I just really, really hope that this holiday season brought nothing but good to your heart and to your soul. What prompted me? What made me want to make this video is, um, a few things, but mainly because I notice a trend when it comes to like the end of the year, not even 2018, but the end of the year in particular. Okay. And I'm even guilty of it. I've been guilty of it. It seems like at the end of every single year, everybody, okay, not everybody, but the masses. Like every end of the year, it just seems like a trend to just completely shit on the year that's ending. And I get it. Life can throw some shit at you. And sometimes it can feel like, not even just feel like, sometimes it can literally be a specific year where so much is happening where it just feels like that year was just fucked up and you want it to be over. Um, but it just seems like every single year seems to be the fucked up year. Look, there are a lot of memes that I like, I double tap on, that I agree with, that I think are funny, that I think are hella relatable. Cause some shit you do wanna just leave in the previous year. But I feel like sometimes we can give too much attention to the negative things or the bad things or the not so good things that may have happened in the past year when you're going into a new one um then we are paying attention to the good things that have happened because i guarantee you and this is my personal opinion i truly believe that no matter how bad you feel like your year was there was some good in between at some point in a year good has happened to you even on the smallest scale and to me if you can look back on a year and literally find nothing good that may have come out of it then it's time to work on your perspective the fact that you are probably watching this or the fact that you made it to the end of the year alone is <laughs> is a positive and i don't speak for nobody else live and let live this video for me is to take the opportunity to Instead of focus on the things that I plan to leave behind in this past year, instead of focusing on the bad things that have happened this year, because let's be 100% clear, this year for me, I've had a lot of emotionally draining moments. Um, I've had a lot of questioning moments. I've had a lot of moments where I just had to internalize a little bit too much. I've felt a lot of disappointment this year um, and I've also had to work on my own flaws. I've had a lot of moments where I just felt completely helpless with no answer in sight. So <laughs> 2018 for me has definitely not been perfect. It's not in my personality to sit around and complain, to verbalize everything that I'm going through or to try and put my problems onto people. So while I've gone through a lot this year, um, a lot of people wouldn't even know. <laughs> You'd be surprised. With that being said, 
this year has not been perfect for me. Um, and I think it's just the optimist in me, though, that when things seem to be so bad or when you have the negative mixed in with the good, my mind is just kind of trained to just try and focus, not ignore, by no means should you take the negative things or the sad things or the emotional things that you deal with, put them in a box and walk away from it. You know what I'm saying? Don't ignore the negative because that, that yeah. there's no way you're going to be able to learn anything and there's no way you're going to be able to evolve or grow if you pretend that negativity or bad things don't exist. It all plays a part. It's, it's a balancing act. Um, but what I'm saying is you have to focus more on the good and the things that you have control of. It's just more important to focus more on the good than the bad. That's for your own well-being, basically. So for me, I'm going to take this time on the last day of 2018 to acknowledge all of the good that came from it. Let me show y'all this. This is one of my Christmas gifts in the middle. And it's my first Alex and Ani bracelet. Not this, sorry. This one in the middle. It's a unicorn. Isn't it so cute? I'm not even a jewelry person, y'all. I didn't actually realize I wasn't really a jewelry person until when I wore these bracelets. Everybody was like, why are you wearing jewelry? But I love this. Thank you, Leanne. I absolutely love this. And I'll never take it off. Well, I'll probably take it off, but you know what I'm saying. I love unicorns. That's also one of my Christmas gifts. At the beginning of this year, I made a vision board that I have at work right now. Why did I take it to work? I don't know, because it's the big as hell. At the beginning of this year, I made a vision board, and I never even actually fully completed it, but I put a lot of things that I wanted to come to fruition this year. I'm starting to lose sun, so let me actually get to the point. So let's get the first and to me the most important thing that was on my vision board out of the way. It was one that I didn't actually accomplish, but um, still something that I want to mention. Um, and my first goal was to buy a home this year. Um, and that was to be at least by the end of this year. And it didn't happen. It didn't happen because I just wasn't fully focused on that goal um, until that time started to roll up. And by then, I just was not prepared um for years and years and years i have worked on my credit and i mean i got that down packed what i didn't focus on is saving money um yeah saving has always been saving hasn't been a priority for me for me i focus more so on um just having what i need for what i need but savings just I've never been good at savings and more so because it hasn't been a priority for me. So this whole house buying thing, you know, researching and getting information for it. I didn't use 2018 to educate myself um, on what I need to have for a down payment, what I need to be saving, what I need to be prepared. And when it rolled up, it rolled up so damn fast to where I was just like, this is not the year. This is not the year. And to be completely honest, I'm not mad about it. I'm not disappointed about it. I think I'd be more disappointed if I forced myself to go through it anyway um, and then put myself in a bad situation. So, no, 2018, I do not own a home. I did push that goal um, to a later date, but I feel like for that goal, I'm going to be a lot more prepared and I'm going to feel more confident in that decision. But I cannot wait, y'all. <laughs> I cannot wait. Y'all know I love home decor. Y'all know I love home decor. Um, and I can't wait to just have a home and just make it my own. And I'll have so much more room, so much more freedom, so much more things to do, so much more opportunity, you know, when I get a home of my own. So, yeah. That's one thing that didn't necessarily happen, but I don't consider it to be a negative of 2018. Um, I consider it to be a blessing in disguise because I just was not ready this year. And I feel very content about putting it off. This year I turned 30 and it's just always been a goal of mine to travel abroad. So, you know, not only was I able to travel abroad, 
This year I got my passport for the first time and that passport is going to continue to be stamped. But in 2018 alone, I traveled to Rome, Italy. I traveled to Paris, France. Um, I traveled to Venice, Italy. I traveled to Haiti just recently. I traveled to Jamaica just recently. I, look, I'm not even thinking about this. Just a couple weeks ago, I ended off my travel of 2018. I went on my very first cruise and I have footage of that. So I plan to make a vlog. It's not going to be broken up, so don't worry. But I'm going to you know, make a vlog of my experience um, on my first cruise. I feel like I went somewhere. Oh, and I also went to Belgium, Brussels. And within the States, I mean, this year I went to New York and... Was it just New York? New York and New Orleans. I've been to both of those places before, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm thankful. I'm only thankful for those experiences. Like, I don't go to the club. Look, I don't smoke. I don't drink often, but when I drink, I drink. If you pay any attention to me, you see that all I do is kind of focus on my environment. I like to decorate. I like to create things. Um, all I really do is work, create content. You know what I'm saying? And just work on me. I'm, I, I don't have a lot of extracurricular activities. I'm just not interested in a lot of things that a lot of people are interested in when it comes to just having a good time. But my thing, my interest, my passion is traveling. You know, I wanna be able to set my feet somewhere I've never been. I wanna be able to taste the food I've never tasted. I wanna be able to smell the air that I've never smelled. Like those experiences to me, it goes far beyond just taking a vacation it is leaving my mark it is creating memories it is refilling my soul with like traveling recharges me traveling just fills me with so much joy you know i can't ever really explain it i just connect with different places in different ways and it means so much to me that I'm able to do that. So yeah, that's my traveling. I put on my vision board to see the Colosseum, the Eiffel Tower. We went to the top of that. We went into the Colosseum. Um, we saw the Trevi Fountain. I was able to throw a coin in the Trevi Fountain. I went zip lining in Haiti um, on the longest overwater zip line. Touched the waters in Jamaica. Ate good Caribbean food. Um, bamboo rafted and just got all the vibes in Jamaica. Jamaica is everything. I have to go back. Um, but yeah, I did that in 2018. This year I've gotten a lot better with actually having a savings <laughs> and leaving my savings account alone. And like I said, savings has not always been a strong suit for me. I've always been like that. I have a savings account and this amount goes into it, but like I always take it out and then, you know, it's just a give and take, give and take situation. So really haven't really had a savings to be honest. So I'm thankful for that because that is going to just get me one step closer to my ultimate goal. And that's to have a house. As far as my YouTube channel goes, I mean, I, little fun fact, <laughs> I've had this YouTube channel since like 2013 and probably even before then under a different email address. Um, but when I had a YouTube channel, I would post like, not a lot, but <laughs> my posts consist of me like singing songs with like hella filters and editing <laughs> i was basically on youtube doing covers but like my videos were probably like five minutes long if that um and i don't even know if i realized that people were like watching my videos then like I mean, they probably weren't, but I'm just saying, like, I, I think I just uploaded it to see it or to share it with my family. It wasn't ever just to like, oh, let me post this so everybody can see it. You know, I don't think I understood YouTube when I was first doing that. Those videos are gone. So don't try to find them. Don't worry. <laughs> Those videos are dead. This year is the year that I actually started to consistently... No, no, I won't say consistently because I am not consistent with my videos. This year is the year <laughs> that I posted 
more like I posted a lot more often than I ever have before I started this year with around like 240 something followers I remember that number distinctively that was when I was like trying to see if anybody was watching my content so I remember starting this year at about 240 something like my vlogs and my sit downs and like my personal videos like really just having to do with me they don't get a lot of views but that's perfectly fine like I'm gonna post them anyway outside of you know me you know because it's actually because it's actually my YouTube channel outside of the videos that have to do with me personally I do have a couple of videos that have done really really good and they brought a lot of traffic to my channel like my MacBook Pro unboxing um, video that is almost at a hundred thousand views and I, I think that definitely brought a lot of traffic into my um, page um, a couple of my clothing hauls to bring a lot of traffic to my page and just like reviews that I do is any optical those are just a couple of my best viewed or you know high traffic videos so I'm telling you when I talk I go down a rabbit hole so I say that to say I started this year with about 200, almost 300 views. Um, and right now I'm at about 2,500 views. So I think that that's pretty good. So I'm thankful for that, you know. Um, 2,500 of y'all decided to subscribe to my channel and view my content. And I hope that it continues to grow. Although to a lot of people, that's probably very small. But for me, when I get on YouTube, I'm sharing what I genuinely like. You know what I'm saying? Like... I see that my vlogs don't get a lot of views, but I'll still post a vlog. I'll see that my Let's Talk videos don't get as many views, but I'm still going to talk to y'all. <laughs> like, I know that I could easily, and this goes for Instagram, this goes for social media in general. I could bombard my pages with before and afters, and I got before and afters that will bring traffic. <laughs> I could become solely a fitness page or I could do one thing or I could focus on this particular thing and that will grow my following you know share for share and all of that but that's not what I'm about you know what I'm saying that's just not just not me that's just not where I am in life um if I decide to share something like that or do anything like that it just needs to be organic and be natural and just be something that I decide to do not for a view, not for a follow, not not for any in particular reason. So I'm just saying that I'm thankful that even with all the randomness on my channel and I know that my videos are completely all over the place, I still have a following and it is still growing organically, I think. <laughs> I'm just thankful that it has grown and is growing with me just being me. So for those that take the time to thumbs up my videos, to watch my videos, um, to comment on my videos, I appreciate it. I really, really do. Like more than you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be 100% honest. I haven't like written down or wrote a plan for 2019 on my YouTube page, but I do plan to be a little more organized and consistent on my YouTube page. I just won't make no promises right now because I haven't really set a plan in action for it, but... 2019, I have a lot of goals when it comes to me stepping outside of my box and really um, starting to try and brand myself. Focusing on facing my fears, <laughs> getting uncomfortable and forcing myself out of my comfort zone. I do it sometimes, but I do not do it enough. And I don't do it in the right areas in my life. So YouTube is gonna be a part of that. Um, but yeah. One of the biggest things that I'm proud of just for myself in 2018, and not even just in 2018, this is the third year that I have been completely debt free. And I'm talking no car payment, zero dollar balance on every single thing. Don't owe this, don't owe that. Um, I do not say that to brag. I say that to say it took me a long time to get to this point. Um, so I'm damn proud of being debt free. Like it took me so many years to get down my spending habits. It took me a lot of years to um, put my money into perspective. And I'm still not perfect at, like I said, I, I'm a bad saver. I, you know, I'm not perfect. But when it comes to focusing on my credit, it has been a labor of love that I 
feel like I haven't necessarily mastered, but um, I am consistently good at. So I'm thankful for that. When it comes to credit, I know that life can throw anything at you that can just flip you upside down. So I've been grateful enough um, to be able to handle the things that have come my way. Um, and that it hasn't been to the point where it's taken me back to square one. So, yeah. Debt free in 2018. Um, I became debt free in 2016. And I have continued to be debt free. So I'm coming into the new year with the same credit vibes as last year. And I plan to continue to do so. Even though that house is gonna, gonna do some things to me. <laughs> But that'll be worth it. <laughs> 2018, I'm thankful for a lot of things. And this video will be like an hour long if I sit here and start naming them all off. But, you know, aside from the things I've already mentioned, I'm thankful I was able to spend um, my BFF's 30th birthday with her, even though she was out of state. Um, I'm thankful I was able to visit home and my family at a time where I really, really needed, really, really needed to see them. I'm thankful for that because um, I live far away and it's tough. <laughs> I'm so thankful for that. But I'm thankful that I can definitely say that mentally I am in a much better headspace than I was at the beginning of this year. I'm also thankful for my physical progress. Um, I started this year at 240 pounds. I posted a video here, y'all have seen it. <laughs> And if you haven't, feel free to go check it out, I guess. <laughs> but I started this year at 240 pounds. Um, the highest that I had gotten back to since I lost weight. I addressed the direction that I was headed um, in a very transparent and public way. But it benefited me. Is it benefited? But it benefit me. But it benefit me. But it benefited me. What the fuck? Wait, wait, we can't ignore this. But it benefit me. But it benefited me. Benefited. Fit it. Benefited is a word. That sounds stupid as hell. I shared that part, what's considered to be a low for me in my weight loss journey, and it was very beneficial. Why? Because I came out of this year better. I had a plan to end this year under 200 pounds. That ain't happening, okay? But <laughs> but I hopped on the scale today at 208. Not under 200, but again, instead of beating myself up and like being disappointed that I'm not in Wonderland um, in 2018, I started this year at 240 pounds. I started this year feeling so defeated <laughs> and feeling like, damn bitch, can you get back to where you were? Like really, really feeling like I had no control over what I was doing. So, you know, it's like this, you know, the whole year. But to say that I'm ending this year 32 pounds less than where I started, I'm eight pounds away from reaching Wonderland or whatever. You know, Wonderland's not necessarily my ultimate goal, but I know for myself, I don't want to see 200 anything anymore. That's when I'm gonna be done with the scale. I'm not a fan of talking too many numbers to begin with, but the only reason why I have focused so much on the number is A, where the hell I was, I needed to have that focus and I couldn't be, oh, out of sight, out of mind, or I wouldn't have been able to, you know, like track the progress how I wanted to, so. For me, when I get out of 200, I'm putting my scale completely away. It's going to be a whole nother journey for me to build muscle, to work on my actual physique and my actual endurance. So that whole number thing is mentally for me to just get out of that 200 zone so I can hone in on my next level goals. 2019, I plan to take myself, my health and my body to a whole nother level. Look, y'all know I share the highs and I share the lows, so <laughs> the highs are coming. <laughs> the highs are coming. But yeah, those are my thoughts on 2018, how I'm choosing to reflect on the year. Before you mentally put your focus on this new coming year, just make sure you take the time to, to me it's just important to take the time to really reflect on what took place the previous year. 
um, whether it's something that you need to address, acknowledge, give thanks for, let go, um, you know, or make a commitment to work on something specific. It's fun to joke that, you know, you want to throw the whole year away. You want to let this go. You want to leave this in 2018. But I mean, ultimately, a lot of people will, will argue this and a lot of people will agree with this that January 1st is really just another day. Um, but I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, here come the New Year's resolutioners. It's just another day. You know people who put their miserable posts up. It's not gonna take a, a new year to change you. I don't wanna see your best nine or I don't wanna see your pictures of 2018 because I've already seen them. You know, just people like that. Here's the way I look at it, okay? Technically, every day is just another day, obviously. We all know that. That's not news, okay? However, you can't deny that something new, like the beginning of a week, the beginning of a month, the beginning of a year, there's something a little bit more special about the beginning of something if you wanna start something fresh or start something anew. But also, if you're one of those people who feel like there's nothing significant to a new year and you just, you know, are gonna treat it like another day, that's perfectly fine too. Just be mindful, you know what I'm saying? Be mindful of the energy that you put out. Like, what's the point of stating your negative opinion on somebody's positive goals for their life? Just something to think about. If that's how you feel, that's cool. <laughs> feel that way. You don't got to bring that into other people's spaces, though. Whether you feel like the New Year's is just another day and you're going to treat it just like that, or you feel like the New Year is a chance for you to start over, set goals, make plans, do whatever you feel, okay? Whatever you feel you need to do to become your best, happiest, most motivated self. Don't let the online trolls or even the real life trolls come into your space, you know, your physical space or your mental space um, and try and deflect their own feelings onto you. Do what you gotta do for you. I'm not gonna talk all day. For New Year's this year, I am going to be home, honey. I'm probably gonna light a candle. Look, run a warm bath. <laughs> Look, it's not a priority for me to go out and dress up and get drunk. And I'm just going to relax, reflect, <laughs> maybe make some goals, maybe, um, you know, edit some videos. I might do just that like that's that's the vibe I'm on coming into the 2019 but whatever y'all do I hope everybody is safe I hope everybody enjoys your New Year's Eve and I hope that everybody has a happy new year um, I wish nothing but the best for everybody in 2019 um, whatever goals you have for yourself whatever you plan to create or change whatever you plan to gain, whatever you plan to let go. I am sending you all of the vibes that will help you get to wherever you want to be in life. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, 2018 ain't done yet, y'all. We have until midnight. Um, if you are one that sets New Year's resolutions, comment below and tell me what your resolutions are. Um, I personally, I haven't really made any New Year's resolutions. Um, I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> Like I said, I'm spending the night at home um, in chill mode, relaxing, meditating, getting my mind right. So along with that, I'm probably going to use that time to focus on um, the things that I want to bring to life in 2019. But I would love to hear what y'all plan to do in 2019. Also, I think it's important to, like I said, Focus on the positive things that came out of 2018. So if you can think of anything that happened good to you this year, or multiple things that happened good to you this year, comment them below. I wanna start a comment section that's filled with good things. Filled with good things that happened to you in 2018, and also what you plan to do good in 2019. Um, if you see a comment that you like, 
give a thumbs up to whoever left the comment. Let's just get some good vibes going and just send nothing but good energy to everybody else um, on this video. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate y'all. I'm going to end this video because I'm talking too much. <laughs> oh yeah, give this video a thumbs up too. Duh. All love.